Coach, you can't win many games shooting 30 percent. Is that accurate? That's very accurate. You can't win many games not rebounding. You can't win many games throwing the ball to them. We could, we could, we could. There's a myriad of things we could name that you can't win doing. Is there too much emphasis on defense generally in, in the country today? No. Absolutely not. What was the biggest difference, second half versus first half? No smart had three fouls early. He's pretty good. Um, I don't know. What's what's the difference the first half and the second half in most games this year? I don't know. We don't. It doesn't seem we compete as hard. What makes this a hard game is you got to do the right thing all the time. You know, when you when you're when you're told a thousand times don't overrun the ball, and you overrun the ball. And then they make another pass and you overrun the ball again. They end up five on three and shoot a layup. Uh, they've been told. Uh, we put them on the treadmill. They continue to do the same thing. It's got to come a point in time where, where you figure out that's not the right thing to do. I mean, that's just an example. Shot clock's running down. They're falling out of bounds. Heave one up, right? think we'd block out, wouldn't you? You'd think so. They catch it and lay it in. We're standing there watching it. That's not playing. And the truth is we've got beat to loose balls. We've gotten beat to balls going out of bounds. We've gotten beat to everything. We, we have a whole bunch of guys standing around and watch. Is it effort? Is it IQ? Is it lack of experience? It's a myriad of things. I don't know. Explain to me why why our sophomores' numbers were so much better a year ago than they are now. I mean, like, way better. Why is that? I don't I mean, Kevin Jones certainly had a heart big enough to fill the building. But was it just him? I don't know. Considering that, I mean, how concerned are you for the next year's or next season and going forward? I'll fix it, Mitch. Huh? I'll fix it. Coach, when you think back to like early November games, uh, practices, has this team improved at all since then, or is this? Uh, oh yeah, we're we, we're a lot better than what we were. Uh, But Justin, I'm not lie to you. I never saw it coming. Right. I, I never saw it coming. I, I, I've always kind of taken a lot of pride in the fact I could get guys to play hard, and I could get guys to compete, and um, people didn't like playing against us because uh, we played so hard, we competed so hard. You know, we tried to rebound the ball every time. We, you know, we just did the right things, and. And for some reason, I haven't been able to reach these guys, which is, you know, it's my fault. I should have been able to find a way to reach them, but. How difficult has this been on you? It's not about me. I knew when I came back here, I knew how much it meant. You know, I, I, I knew how much, I mean, growing up here and, and you know, when Rod Thorne was playing and coming back here and playing, I mean, I knew how much it meant. So, it's not about me. Well, the, the turnover stuff um, is... Is it just passing? I know there's some dribbling things or sometimes you get it stolen, but there's there's sometimes your passes go different directions, I 
gets to where they're intended. That also is really, I mean, that keeps you from even running offense where you throw a ball at someone's feet instead of in their hands, too. Oh, my dad used to say all the time, Mike, he used to say, pass the ball, don't throw the ball. I've tried not to uh, be my dad, and I find myself saying, pass the ball, don't throw the ball. <laughs> I guess it's kind of one of those older you get, the smarter he was. But we throw the ball. We don't pass the ball, we throw the ball. We made a pass today that wasn't, I mean, there was nobody in the vicinity. I don't, like, I, I, I can't understand it. I mean, I, I don't, like people say, well, why do you do that? Hell, I don't know. I have no idea. I've never seen that before. Just when you think you you know you've seen everything, then I mean we'll throw one and there's not anybody anywhere around it. You know I, you can't say any more and drill it any more and work it any more than what we have. That if you grab the ball and put it over your head, they're gonna get a hand on it. We keep doing it. Frustration to anger to embarrassment, maybe, or something along that line. I mean, well, I've been embarrassed since first game. First game maybe, yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I, I mean, you go back and look. I don't get beat like that. I mean, my guys, my guys would, my guys played so hard, competed so hard. We never ever got beat like that, ever. Do you think they feel that? Feel what? The embarrassment or the? No, they don't seem to. I, I, I could tell you, you know, privately why I think that, but I don't want to say it to everybody else. But I can tell you why. I mean, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they do now. I, mean, I, I think there's some. I think done the stuff. But, but probably had five players in double figures. Uh, Brad, uh, Nash and Brown were the leading scorers. Can you talk a little bit about their games? Oh, Nash, Nash is a McDonald's All-American. Brown's the leading scorer in our league. Smart's a McDonald's All-American. They got good players. They, they got good players that play very well together. Seem like they like each other. They got a point guard who, when you're open, gives you the ball, which has a tendency, I think, to make guys play harder. Work to get to get open harder. Um, they're really good in transition. You're open. He throws you the ball. They share the ball. Travis done a really good job with him. Jim Brian Williams comes in. I think he had one three on the year. He comes in, hits these two for two against us, and um, five for eight from the field. I don't know. I don't have any answers, man. I'd like to. I'd like like to think I do. I thought I did, but. Coach, running through the motion offense, um, you know, it is one thing to, to, to set up the defense, but how much more of a difference would it make to just have a guy who could, you know, maybe make something off the dribble, break something down, get a shot in, and is it hard to find a guy like that? Justin, we, we don't. Uh, we can't run a set because I have guys that have been here for this is two years that, that don't know what they're doing. I mean, it's totally inexcusable. Don't have any idea what they're doing. I can't, I can't call a set unless I have certain guys on the floor that kind of know what they're doing. If I make a substitution, we can't run a set because we're going to have one guy who's going to stand somewhere where he's not supposed to stand and screw everything up. There's guys that, I mean, I, I can't run a set after a timeout. It's inexcusable. I mean, it's totally inexcusable. When they have the resources that they have to be able to go watch things and look at things and learn things and... I don't and, uh, know. At some point, do you not play those guys anymore, or does that leave you so shorthanded that you literally can't play? It's 
kind of like it's kind of like if uh, you got a job, you know, you're a supervisor, and you got a guy who won't do right, and you say you're out. And you put another guy in, he won't do right, and you put another guy in, he won't do right, and you put another guy in, he won't do right. You just kind of throw up your hands and say, "What am I supposed to do?" It's kind of how I feel. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I say things and then you guys kind of turn it around and make me look like an ass, so I gotta watch what I say, but. Um, I wouldn't play him if, if the guys that I had playing would do right. But, you keep looking down there. Anything else? <clears throat>